Hi there, this is just in case you want to do what I've been doing and send a, a song over to someone and say, can you please put some guitar or some piano or some bass or some vocals alongside this and send the track back to me so I can mix it in and into my recording. And you might be struggling a little bit, it's a little bit tricky. So here's how I would do it. So I would send the track to the person, they they open it up into their operating, their software, like their DAW, Digital Audio Workstation, DAW, they open the track up, and so they've got it, and they can, um, it's a very, very basic song I've been working on. And so um, they go, oh yeah, and they listen to it a few times, they get the guitar out, and they want to record a guitar track. Now they may not want to play all the way through. They may just, I may say, hey, can you just play on the last, just instrumental while the song fades out? Can you play something there? And and if they play, and then they send me back a little chunk that's about that long, and I don't know where it goes. I'll try and I move it around and move it around and try and, oh, what are they doing? Where did that note go? And it'd be really hard. So what I want to do, I'm going to go reference point. So their track starts at the same place as my track okay so this is how i would do it i'll get something like a cowbell or a couple of sticks or whatever i've got a little sure 58 mic sitting on my desktop here so um <clears throat> so i'm going to start recording and this is set to lock roll back a bar so just put a little ding there and um <clears throat> there it is and, um, excuse me, talking around it. Right, so that is the beginning of my track. Now, I want to zoom out. I want to go down to here somewhere, roughly, maybe here. Looks like the singing finishes. And I want to record a little bit of guitar. Now, I have to grab my guitar here. Right, now I want to turn my speakers off because I don't want the speaker mix getting into this recording otherwise it'll be a real pain at the at the final destination it'll be it'll be awful so I've turned the speakers off and I put my headphones on and I'm going to play start recording something like that okay and now I've got this little <coughs> got this little guitar snippet so to make I'm gonna I want these two to join together I'm gonna to merge them together so um, now you can go region merge but I just want I want to actually bounce it down as one file so I'm gonna to have to mute this track um, here I'm gonna do it twice I really really don't want it to go I'm gonna mute it twice, hitting M when the file is selected, mute it, and also clicking the mute button. So I don't want that thing to get in at all. So now I'm going to turn that record button off as well. So now it'll want to know which region it should bounce. So it needs this, this um, loop region here. So you can do it manually, and so give it a little bit extra, or you can go Control equals, and that will <clears throat> cover all all the it'll cover all the distance all the regions that are selected so these two are both selected they're black so this little loop bar will cover them both so now I want to bounce it down and um, actually I just want to it's not very loud so that'll be alright command B on a Mac and um, I'll call that one just um, just guitar all right, oh, I spell it proper. Guitar, okay. And I want it WAV file, 16-bit, 44 kilohertz, the bare minimum. 
probably don't need to go any bigger the resolution than that. If you're going to send it over, you know, over the internet, it's going to be about 25 megabytes as it is. Even though most of it is silence, so it's bouncing down. It's getting to the useful bit. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to. That's done. <clears throat> and so I find my file just guitar so I can send that you know I can drag it into, into a Dropbox or something like that and send it to the person I'm just going to drag it into my file into my into my song here it is here now so the person at the other end gets it on Dropbox or whatever or email I don't think you can email something that big and they just drag it to the beginning of the song and guess what it lines up okay so now they get down to the bit they want they think right here's this useful bit here get my scissors tool chop off that bit and um, turn my song back turn my mute that track there turn my main track back on let's have a listen amazing love. you're amazing So there you've got a usable track with all this if I if I um, open it back out there's there's that track here so no matter where the person I mean no matter where it lands in this song they can just drag it to the end and it starts at the right place and uh, then the audio will be in the right place so I hope that helps <laughs>